how to create eye-popping PowerPoint slides in one minute or less of extra effort per slide. How many ways do you use PowerPoint in your business? Whether you use it face-to-face -face or you use it virtually, you probably are looking at more than one thing on this list. We use it for sales, training, leadership, motivation, and virtually for YouTube videos, for webinars, vlogs, and other ways. PowerPoint is the language of business, and we have to learn how to do these better if we want to grow our business and grow our success. When you give a PowerPoint presentation, let me ask you a question. Do you feel your slides are boring? Now, when we look at our audience and we see the kind of reaction that this image projects, we've all been there. And we want to find any way and every way that we can engage people in our presentation. Well, one very powerful way to do that is by designing wonderful slides. If we have boring slides, there are big costs. We blow the opportunity. We lose the sale and the follow-on business. We fail to win our audience's attention and hearts and minds. We harm our reputation as a presenter. And worst of all, we lower our confidence that we can do better, that we can change this picture. Well, presenters, we must change this picture. And that's partially what this course is about. Now you can learn how to make your slides look absolutely amazing with only one minute or less of extra effort per slide. I want to really stress that this is not complex. This is easy. This is something that everybody can learn. When we show a boring slide like this, people check out. But we take that same content and add brain appeal and look what happens. How did you react to that opening slide? Pretty exciting, isn't it? You can create this in about a minute or less. What about if you're giving a presentation about how to discipline your dog and this is your first slide that your audience sees? What are they going to do? They're going to sit up and take notice because your opening slide looks original and unique. It's all you. And that extra effort is going to help you create rapport with your audience. Many of us are also involved in internal meetings, maybe with our sponsor, with our manager, with our virtual team. We want to show presentations there too that get people engaged. Now think about that boring meeting you were last in that talked about the goals for the next fiscal year. Wow, those really get boring. But let's say we started out here with success together. We put a picture up there of people collaborating together, holding hands as they work together to try to achieve the best result. Think of the tone this sets to get your people engaged in collaborating within that meeting. So use these techniques for all times that you use PowerPoint in your virtual meetings and or presentations. It really makes a difference. You know, also in PowerPoint, we're used to using bullet points. And we've done a very poor job of those in the past. When people see boring bullet lists like this, they're going to check out. But look at what just a couple of clicks will do to change this. Look at what this bullet list looks like now. What's going to be more engaging? This is going to pull your audience in no matter who they are. This is the most basic level of slide. But look at this content slide where we're bringing in various bullet points. And notice how I'm, I'm animating them one at a time. You'll learn how to do these wonderful secrets in the training itself. Or maybe like in this particular slide, this is one of my favorites, the two little doggies, um, where you might want to display all four of your bullet lists. And then as you talk about each one of them to make it rock so people can have their attention directed toward the bullet point that you're talking about now. These are wonderful techniques that just little things that have just a huge impact and being original and helping to keep your audience engaged. So this class, How to Create Eye-Popping PowerPoint Slides, well, I've been really been working on this thing over my lifetime. I've always wanted to create more slides. I love creating slides, but I can't really draw at all. But I can do wonderful things on PowerPoint because the technology enables it. And the graphics principles I'll give you are going to let you get the most out of that capability. And so we want you to create wonderful slides like this. Let's take a little bit more look at what's in the class. Not only wonderful title pages and wonderful bullet lists, but there are new rules for graphic success with PowerPoint. We call it brain appeal. It's the art and science of getting people's brains to want to pay attention. And so you learn those concepts so you know how to build that slide effectively. We also 
Want to learn in this class fabulous places to find royalty-free images and graphics? If you do not know this term royalty-free, you need to know it. And that's particularly if you are using PowerPoint for any kind of a commercial purpose um, because there are lots of rules around this and um, you want to make sure that you're in compliance. But it adds so much to put pictures in there. We're going to learn how to add dazzling special effects. Look at this video that's playing out uh, as I'm talking, seeing the lights go on in your audience's eyes. And look at the animations on the bullet points on the right. You will learn how to do all of these things because they're easy to do and people aren't used to seeing them. They think this is going to take an hour to set up. It took a minute, all right? It takes no time at all to create these things. You just need to know what to put there and how to put it there. And that's what this course will teach you. So these special effects will take less than a minute to create. Some of them, it's only going to be seconds, but about one minute is about the max you'll need to spend on any given slide once you learn this technique. Second of all, these are very easy to do. You do not need to pull out some complex reference manual and all that. No, I want this in your head. I've made this so easy for you to learn and practice and reinforce that you'll be able to use these techniques just because intuitively you're applying what you've learned. And then the third thing is they're going to be engaging. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be surprised how exciting the slides are that you create. They're, you're just going to be that creative and you may not have any idea you have that talent. So we're going to unleash that slide creativity that is beyond your expectations. So don't worry if you've never been good at art and you feel like you have no talent as an artist, you don't need it. You just need to learn these principles and learn how to apply them and you are home free. Bottom line is that interesting slides make your presentation better. If you want your audience to react to you, to raise their hand, to clap, to smile, to cry, whatever you want them to do in your presentation, we want them to be responsive to us and us responsive to them. You're going to find that when you show an interesting slide like this, it shows your audience that you really care that they are engaged. And it really allows you to create a level of rapport on your topic that you just can't do without it. Images create the message and reinforce your message so well, and you'll learn all about that in the training. Importantly, this course is called How to Create Eye-Popping PowerPoint Slides. I want to be very clear with you, this is not a PowerPoint course. Instead, it is a course for people that use PowerPoint that will teach you how to make your PowerPoint content look a whole lot more interesting, a whole lot more engaging, and a whole lot more entertaining. We call this concept brain appeal. It is the art and science of getting people's brains to fire up when you show them the things on your slides that back up your voice message. For this class, you do need to have Office 365. If you are a professional, trainer, presenter, marketer, and you create your own slides, you need this upgrade. So build it in your budget if you don't have it. For those of you that don't have Office 365, when you sign up for the class, I'm going to show you where to access a free version of it that is online that you can use. But ultimately, the cost is so low on Office 365 that you want to be sure you have that. It will pay off literally with your first presentation, first five slides of your first presentation. It's just that effective and that good. So everyone, this is a class that is I am so proud to show you because it really gives you those things that I would want to learn if I didn't know these concepts. So sign up today. Go to engagement-u.com and sign up now for the introductory materials related to the class. This is going to change the way you do presentations. I look forward to being your guide through that journey. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner. See you in the next lesson.